Hey folks, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel this past year. I'm sorry it's taken so long for me to get another video out. It's been like almost a year. I had twin sons this past summer. And um, so as you can imagine, we've kind of had our hands full around here. But they're fat and happy five month olds now. And so I am back to making videos. And um, I want to start a series of quick tip videos. This is my first one and it's a doozy. The technique that I'm about to teach you is something that I've, it, it's, first of all, it's used by pretty much any great guitar player out there. It's, it's mandatory for using a guitar pick accurately. But I've never seen this technique taught in a guitar instruction book or in a video. Now, I'm sure as soon as I post this video, I'm gonna to get tons of links to other people teaching it, which would be wonderful, but I've never seen it taught. I don't think there's a name for it, and so I gave it a name. It's called brushing. And so this technique helps to orient your picking hand as you're playing. And it's really necessary because picking the right string is I think the hardest thing about playing guitar. The basic idea here is that you hold the pick between your thumb and index finger. And the other fingers extend down below the strings to rest lightly on the pick guard or whatever's down here on the face of your guitar. And as you pick, your fingers brush back and forth across the surface. What you don't wanna do is press your fingers against the guitar so that they stay put while you pick like this. I call this planting and it's bad because it will limit your hand movement and bog down your picking. Instead, you just lightly brush, not enough to impede your picking, but just enough to help your hand know where it is. And by knowing where it is, I'm talking about proprioception. That's our ability to know where our different body parts are in space at any given time. Um, a cop who's having the drunk driver do this test, the field sobriety finger to nose test, they're testing proprioception because alcohol screws up your proprioception. Now I do change where I brush the guitar depending on which strings I'm hitting. Treble strings, I tend to touch the pick guard. Um, as I move to bass strings, it can be hard to reach all the way down here. And so I tend to migrate over to the bridge and brush the six string bridge pin with my palm or the six string saddle on an electric. This is what it looks like. Also, when I'm playing an electric with lots of distortion, and I also use this technique a lot on an acoustic too, I use this damping technique that also doubles as brushing technique. Um, I damp all the strings that are lower in pitch than the string I'm hitting with my right hand. And then my left hand fingers um, are simultaneously fretting notes and also they're laying down low so they're damping the higher pitch strings. So the only string that's allowed to ring is the one I'm hitting and you need to do this when you use tons of distortion uh, or else you get terrible noise. But this technique is a twofer. It also keeps, uh, it also does a fabulous job of orienting my hand. So I'm gonna tilt the guitar here and maybe you can see as I play. See how my palm is brushing the strings that I'm not playing? that are uh, lower in pitch. To get started using this technique, I recommend that you play a major scale on the first, second, and third strings. This pattern works well. And use that fingertip brushing the pick guard technique that I talked about. I use just the tip of my pinky or sometimes the, this knuckle of the pinky um, but you can use three fingers too. That's what Doc Watson used. Um, whatever makes sense to you. Just remember, don't plant. Um, here's a, a little demonstration of how you can practice this scale. Just start at the lowest note. Work your way up to the highest note. Back down to the lowest note. And back up again. Just keep repeating that, focusing on making sure at least your pinky is in contact with the soundboard. Go at whatever speed you can do without making mistakes. 
Now, when you first start using this technique, it's not gonna make much of a difference. It's probably just gonna annoy you. It really has annoyed some of my students when I started them on it um, because it was a totally different technique than what they were used to. But keep at it, and after about 10 minutes, you should start to notice that your hand has a better idea of where it is, that you pick more accurately. Now, if you'd like to see this in action, um, I've got some links below to videos that clearly show the picking hand of some great guitarists. And if you liked this lesson, please subscribe to my channel. All right, enjoy your music.